Mark on the line. Go ahead, Mark. Yeah, my question is on uh, Golden Minerals, uh, AUM on the Toronto. I've been uh, following that stock for quite a while, and uh, I guess about six months ago they acquired uh, ECU or merged with ECU Silver, and now their asset is you know, quite a bit bigger than what it was, but their, shit, but their market cap is about half what it was. So just wonder if you could comment on that. Thanks. Thanks, Mark. I think you did the analysis yourself fairly well. The asset pool has increased and the market capitalization has decreased. Those are both good things. Uh, people pay too much attention to the share price and not enough to the relationship between price and value. When a company does well and its share price does poorly, it's setting up a spectacular opportunity. Those people are very good explorationists. They're very good developers. Again, I know them. I like them. I trust them. Uh, I have large conflicts of interest in gold and minerals. Where are their assets mostly written? The most important as uh, asset is in Argentina, but they have an exploration uh, portfolio that really covers the Western Hemisphere, Cordillera. We're going to be right back with the one and only Rick.